Now then YouTube, in my quest to bring you more vlogs, well we've got more work to do on the MR2 so we may as well have some more vlogs then eh? What I'm doing today is I'm going to tap that thread at the back, get the helicoil in and hopefully fix that rear engine mount. And I got some new discs, which hopefully we'll find some time to do. I've got some new bleed nipples as well. I don't want to take any chances. This car's going to Germany next week, so we need to make sure it's all right. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just trying to cover all bases. Anything that I've got in the back of my mind that I'm not sure on, I've just basically thought, right, let's just fucking fix it. One of my bleed nipples is rounded off. Three are all right. So you know, I've got three good ones, but... One of them rounded off and I thought, you know, I may as well change them. I looked on eBay and it was Fiverr. It was Fiverr delivered for four bleed nipples. So I may as well just change them. I'm going to bleed the brakes anyway. Give them a fresh bleed before the ring. So why not? You may notice the MR2 is on a ramp. Now that's because there's a legend who manages this place. Um, goes by the name of Ed. The cool guy. And uh, he's been putting a lot of time into the, into the barn. So long story short, um, yeah, we've got a ramp now. That's going to make the videos a bit better. I'll tell you what, I did my first jobs on it last night. I took the exhaust manifold off, which is over in the back somewhere. There we go. Took my exhaust manifold off. There's my new wheels. I've got my AI ones on. But first job today is going to be to get that heli coil done because I'm, I'm, that's the thing that I'm most worried about. Because if we don't get that engine mounting right, then, you know, we're pretty fucked, aren't we? We can't really kick the car's head in around a track uh, knowing that the engine mount's not quite connected. Oh, it's not connected at all at the minute, but it's a bit fucked. There is a backup plan, there is a plan B, which may have to come into effect, which would involve the engine mount kind of being kind of permanently on, but, you know, it's be fine for the Nürburgring and then we can worry about it afterwards, but, yeah. The first step is to get this helicoil done, so let me show you the kit I've bought. Right, so these are the Fed repair kits that I got off Amazon, they're like £15 each, but I've used them before and it, it worked all right. I ordered two because I ordered this one originally, or I ordered one of them originally, and then it came up saying that it wasn't available on Prime and it was going to be a couple of days. So I ordered another one, and as you can see, the second one was M10, so it's the wrong thread anyway. So I'm glad I ordered two, but they both come today and only one of them's right, so that one's going to go back. That can go back. But yeah, this is it. This is the thread that we're tapping. It's an M12 by 125. I've also got my new bleed nipples and a new bolt, which is another M12 by 1.5. And then discs, maybe after, because my discs, after one track day with the Carbotex, my discs look horrible. And apparently this, this cleans up, but you know what, I just, I just don't trust these discs. Both the front and rear discs came with the car. These, these kind of look stop techish, or I can't, I can't think what manufacturer would, would have the, the, the slots, but I mean, the fact that the centre is pretty corroded and that makes you think that maybe it's not from such a good manufacturer. Whereas the, the fronts are a bit corroded, but, but but not as bad. There's no no lip on any of this. I'll still keep them for spares. So I got these discs. They're just padgy blanks. I prefer blank discs. I know I know slotted and grooves. have got their applications, but I, I, I don't I don't think it's really necessary for a track car. The slots. These slots are meant to like clean the pads as it's going round. But as you can see, there's not been a lot of that happening. And then the C hooks. I think the C hooks meant to be like. The, the latest um, latest trend when it comes to, to break this cooling when they put these little C's in it rather than uh, holes or slots but now uh, regardless I want to go back to blanks so we'll be changing the disc to blanks giving the pads a quick rub down then we'll have to bed them in again before we get out on track but to be honest my bedding in procedure probably wasn't ideal I bedded these brakes in on the uh, sighting lap I think it was at Cadwell so yeah not ideal this is an absolute game changer well happy with it. I think this probably will make videos better in here, despite them being filmed on a phone most of the time now. Look at this, I can walk straight under the car. I don't even have to duck. You know, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a short guy and we can see the bolts straight away, look. It's a bit easier than when we were on the floor the other day, isn't it? So the exhaust money falls off. That, that was here. Let me say it there. So I got the exhaust money fold out of the way yesterday. And then, yeah, let's repair this thread. It'd be nice to get that out of the way a bit more, but... Oh, I could always undo... Yeah, I might do that. Hang on. Right, I've just hit a slight problem, and that's that... Because the drill bit and the drill is so, so large, I can't quite get onto its square because of the half shaft bearing. So, I'm going to take that off. Which means we'll be losing our gearbox oil, so I'll best drain the box oil. But that's fine, because I've got some new box oil to go in there anyway. 
Yeah, you might notice this box crunches a little bit. I'm hoping that it's not anything serious. Well, I'm hoping it's not the box. Hopefully it's like either the cables or the fluid. I've got some Torco fluid to go into, which is recommended by M Factory, so hopefully that'll keep the uh, synchros and the diff a bit sweeter. All right, I've just made another discovery. The gearbox is leaking a bit of oil. You see that just down there? Looks to be coming from this side drive shaft seal. So, I mean, since we're taking the uh, gearbox oil out anyway, I may as well try and change that seal for a spare one that I've got. But I mean, it's not gonna be, you shouldn't really reuse them. But we'll have a look. Maybe it's just been fitted wrong or something. Maybe it's just because I've been changing the drive shaft so much I might have nicked it or something. But yeah, so this has turned into now draining the gearbox oil and uh, trying to see where this leak's coming from. And then we'll try and tap that thread and sort that out. But let's get the chefs out. I love doing that. I'll tell you what, it's not taking me any time at all to, um, well, I know I've not done anything yet, but certainly get the bolts out for the half shaft and then realize that that was leaking and then just picked the phone up and said, oh shit, we've got some more jobs to do, boys. So yeah, my box is leaking, bastard. Never mind. Just have a watch at how much the engine moves here. I'm trying to do this, not. Oh, we've got all the toys now. All right, so the drive shafts are off. Easier on the ramp, but it was still a bit of a pig. Let's take all the arms off pretty much, including this front one, just to get the hub to swing out enough so you can get the, C, uh, get the drive shaft out. So this is the seal that was leaking. I can't see any obvious nicks or tears in it. You can see straight through the other side of the car, that's cool, isn't it? Um, and because the weep was so small, I, I'm just gonna fully leave it. Maybe fix it at a later date, but I don't want to start pissing about with these seals and ruin it and make it even worse before I go in next week. So I'm going to leave it as it is, just for now, and then we'll be fixing it another time. I had some problems with drive shaft seals uh, with me and Segura a couple of years ago, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not too difficult to change. Henrik showed me how to do it at the ring, but I'm just going to leave that. I, I think if I was going to change it, I'd want to change it for a brand new one rather than one that I've got spare in the corner over there in the gearbox that's been sat on the floor for six months. I'd rather put a brand new one in, if anything, but uh, it's not a lot. Everything looks good. I was, I was wondering if I was going to find like a big tear or something in the uh, in the rubber on the material on the outside, but everything feels fine, so I'm just going to leave that. So onto the gearbox. See, now we've got this half shaft out of the way, we can get onto that square. I'm going to take this mount off, plug these holes up, and then we can start drilling. So that's the bolt drilled out. You can see there's absolutely no threads on there at the minute. Now we're gonna uh, tap the threads for the helicoil to go in, put the helicoil in. Jobs are good done, hopefully. Right, it's time to see if we've got any lovely threads under here. I'm sure we will have. There we go, look. Good job of sent ten. Right, fourth time lucky. Bolts in. I had to put the thread like about here because when I was drilling, I accidentally slightly elongated that hole. Well I think that's why it's doing it anyway, and the thread wouldn't start properly, but I put the thread in a bit more helicopter, just a little bit in more, and it's fine. So still a bit stiff, but this bolt. Um, this bolt's a bit shafted. It's a brand new bolt and it's just not very good. I bought loads of bolts from this shop before and they've all been fine, but I was having problems getting the thread started, so I thought I'd try a spare one that I had, just an M12125 bolt that I had. Went straight in. Then I had a close look at the threads on this and they weren't weren't the cleanest. Can't even fucking get it out. I should really be able to get it out with my hand. It shouldn't be this tight, but we're just gonna ignore that and put it back together. Right, job jobbed. Just about. Now to uh, put it back together. But I need to fix these uh, crappy CV boots. I swear I used to be able to get away with using cable tires before, but for some reason, CV boots have got strong. 2019, ain't taking no shit anymore. And they just don't like uh, cable tires anymore. It's, it used to be definitely safe on the, on the outer CV. It was always safe for a cable tire. Yeah, no worries. Sometimes the outer CVs were a bit risky with a cable tire, but now nobody wants it. I don't want it. I don't want a metal clip, please. But I've not got any metal clips, so I'm going to try and bob something together. 
and then we'll get this back together and then we've got this to change which should be easy shouldn't it that should be a nice easy job ah, yes, 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 yes. now then we're a couple of hours on uh cat what did i do last i got to just put it back together weren't i so i've got the back end back together drive shafts in and all that jazz took the discs off and also taken off the uh, disc dust shields on all four corners i did that because i'd already taken off one side i think it was the front left I'd already taken that off because it was it was rotting away when I changed the pads and I just fucking it just kind of fell off in my hand. But the other three were on, on like bastards and all the, the nuts had uh, rounded off, so I had to get a bit creative. But they're all off now, so no more dust shields. Might get a bit dusty, but I'm convinced it's better for cooling. I don't know if there's any proof behind that, but I'm pretty sure. I spoke to my MR2 friend from Barcelona as well, and he's done the same. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. What I'm on with now is, well, I was going to show you the discs. So, one second. I'm going to get the discs laid out and I'll show you why I'm changing them and all that. Probably don't need to, but better to be safe than sorry. Okay then, these are my discs. I guess you saw them on the car. But I just wasn't, wasn't real happy with how they looked. And I really should have replaced the discs when I fitted the Carbotech pads. Because, I mean, the discs are like... Even these padgids were a quarter of the price of the uh, Carbotet pads. They're not cheap pads and I really should have done the discs at the same time, but uh, never mind. So these discs are quite nice, actually. I'll, uh, hopefully they won't corrode too much. Looks like it's got a nice material and it's stopped, stopped corroding. But yeah, just OE blanks. Just blanks. Blank discs are good. We like blank discs. Just didn't really trust these ones. These are the main ones that were concerning me. And I, I really should have done it with the pads as well because then the bedding in procedure would have been perfect and you know obviously gonna have to bed in the uh, the new discs again but I've just had a look on Carbotech's website and they they do say that to bed in discs is, is, is fine as long as the pads are bedded in which yeah, they kind of were but, but we're gonna get the discs on get the calipers back on and then it's just a case of bleeding them up tomorrow I need to get the exhaust manifold on as well but I've left that because I've had to order a gasket well have I got the old gasket now I didn't have to order one but it looked minging so I was like I'll put a new gasket on there I got some new plugs coming tomorrow as well because the spark plugs that were in it, I thought I'd check the spark plug yesterday and it had the wrong plugs in it. I had some um, NGK 8 grade ones which are for like 400, 500 brake turbo builds. Not for uh, 2 litre NAs, standard fucking K20s. Not, not good. So I got some plugs coming. Um, the one for gasket, that should come tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it somewhat like finished tomorrow. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to get these discs on. Right, we've just got some discs. Ooh. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. Ooh. Right, I'm going to leave it there. So, we've had a successful day. We've got the engine mount fixed with the heli coil, four discs on. When you say it out, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's been it's been long. Getting those dust shields off was a pain. That took a while. What else took a while? That heli curl did take a while. To be fair, it took longer than I thought it would. But oh well, it's like it's half past ten. This is the latest I've ever been here. To be honest, I don't think I'm allowed up here at this time. And uh, as I said, the guy's been so nice with the ramp that will not take the piss. So that's all from tonight. Still plenty to do. Tomorrow night we'll get a chuck involved and we'll get the uh, brakes bled with the new nipples. I've not, oh, I've not fit the new nipples yet, so we need to fit the new nipples. Get the brakes bled, put some gearbox oil in it. You know, so, oh, I need to fix my shifter as well because my shifter keeps on coming loose. Um, I've also got a bit of a crunch, but I'm going to ignore that. See if the gearbox oil fixes it. Right, so see you next time. Still plenty more to do. Bye.